Let's continue from where we left off in the previous lesson. Create a new sphere and reduce the subdivision axis and height to 6 and create a mesh network. In the distribution node, open mesh and drag and drop the first repro mesh into input mesh. Change the method to face center and click flood mesh. This is some kind of bug, so ignore it. Select the sphere one from the outliner and scale accordingly. Select the mesh repro mesh and hide it. Create a signal node and reduce Use the position Y to 1 and type 0.1 in noise scale. This will give a little animation to your spheres. Now repeat the same procedure for the following horizontal bars. Once finished, add a color node to Mesh 2 network and in color insert volume 3D noise. From the color balance drop down menu, click color gain and select any color you like. Change the random hue as desired. Select your 3D noise and scale accordingly and hide it. Set a keyframe on one and move it in X axis a little bit and set another keyframe on frame 120. Now create a color node on Mesh 3 network and open a node editor. Select Mesh 2 and 3 from the outliner and click input and output connections. Search for volume noise and Mesh 3 color node. Expand both nodes and make a connection of out color to color as shown. Now adjust your random hue as desired. Now select the locator and add a keyframe on Y and frame 1 and set another keyframe on 300 at 360 and hit play. If you want to change the speed of any of the spheres, select signal noise and change the values of noise scale. Once you are happy, select the Marsh Repro Mesh from the outliner and smooth it once. Now select the Marsh 1 Repro Mesh and smooth it twice. Add a random node to both of these mesh networks and decrease the strength as desired. Now select your 3D noise and move the end keyframe to 300 and render a play blast. This is the final play blast. Thanks for watching.